Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So, welcome to the morning. So, hopped over here. And go ahead and buy the dairy. So we have that set. You can see active productions, butter, cheese, and chocolate. And for butter, looks like we need milk. And then we're going to get 13 butters. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab this tanker, because I can actually transport water in it. Or, well, you know I can transport water in it. I can actually transport milk in it, as well as water, is what I was thinking in my head, but obviously not having come out through my mouth. So I'm going to go do that now. Although, let's see, we need 6,000 liters of butter, which means we need a little less than that of milk. Alright, so if I'm correct, again, I'm just unable to deal with numbers the last few episodes. I actually need more milk than I need butter, not less, because it's 15 milks for 13 butter. So that should mean to get 6,000 butter. I think if I have 6,925 ish of milk, I should be all set. So I had this problem before. And I don't remember if this will get me milk or not. It will. All right. That should be what we need. So the nice thing is, we have another production. The bad thing with that, I'm sure, is we probably are going to have additional maintenance costs every day. So that just continues to increase the cost of running the farm. But I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I think the next thing I'm going to do is delve into the world of sugarcane. Because I want to start that moving along, given that I do not know how long it's going to take. Now my other problem is, I don't know how big a field I need. So I think I'm going to split the difference and use my long middle field. And Well, I'm going to take a look because if I can see what the size is, because I might use my two fields up on the hill as well. So let me focus on getting this milk there because I'm just being a bit confused, so our empire continues to grow, which is also another nice function of the VIP orders mod, is that I need things to uh, be able to function. So, let's see. I think this is where they're going to output. Where is my input? There it is. So I should be able here. There we go. So we'll put that in. And head on over here. So I want to deactivate cheese. I don't want to use any milk for that, I just want to make butter. And obviously I'll deactivate that as well. But at this point, it's going to start creating some uh, butter, as you can see. I think we've already got three liters of it. I don't know if that means we'll already have a palette appearing or not. Doesn't look like it. It'll probably output that. 
once it's ready to go. Again, probably in thousand liter pallets. We'll go from there, but that production is running. So that was what I wanted to get going immediately so that I could get use of that as quickly as possible. So the nice thing is I can make butter and cheese and as my cows get more and more productive and if I suddenly need money that may be what starts to happen too as part of the VIP series is I may not have enough cash flow from just filling the orders which is part of the problem I ran into the other day where I then went ahead and, and fulfilled an order and that took care of it so I didn't quite run into that but I was getting close because of some of the choices I had made but let me get this back and then we'll take a look at sugarcane all right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the sugar cane in debating. I think I'm going to put it in here. Um, I think it's just going to work out better that way. But the challenge is because I have to plant with a sugar cane planter, I do have to get this field ready. So I go ahead and get this repaired because it definitely needs that. I've been not doing a great job on maintenance. All right, so 5,500. So definitely not minimal. So I guess it's good I didn't get rid of my cultivator. I'm going to have the same problem with potatoes. But potatoes aren't going to take forever to grow. So I'm not going to worry about the potatoes till later. So part of my challenge is, as I had mentioned in the last episode, if I use uh, a trailer, which I think I need to do regardless, I'm going to have the problem that I have to drive the trailer alongside whatever is harvesting. I don't think there's any other option, and therefore, uh, you know, I'm likely going to have to have a AI driver for the harvester and then I'll just follow along with the trailer I think manually is is what will be the process all right so I'm going to go ahead and create or go down in this direction here definitely don't want to create anything which is what I was being careful about is that I didn't do a create fields piece because that's what I keep running into when I do this stuff but looks like everything's set appropriately here I did double check just to be sure but so I've got a little bit of straw or hay or whatever that had run there before and then I should be able to Kind of skip a row and just keep going in this direction here. Hopefully, eh, I might need to skip more than that. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead, get this field cultivated, and we'll see how everything plays out at that point. Uh, you know, we're going to have to put some money into this process because the other thing is sugarcane doesn't grow from seeds, it grows from sugarcane stalks. So initially I need to go ahead and buy some to get the field planted. Once that's done and I harvest, I guess I can then use some of the harvest to, to do things. 
But let me get this field done, and we'll go from there. All right, we've got the field ready to go. We're looking at sugarcane technology. And so we need to start with planting. So take a look here. Definitely not buying crop yet. It only plants two meters wide, so this looks crazy. All right, so 4,300 pounds, and it'll store 9,400. I guess my problem is I don't know how much I need. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with just one pallet. We'll go from there. See, I can't lease a pallet. I need to buy it. So I need a 200 horsepower tractor, so I'm going to use that to go pick it up. All right, so I've got this taken care of. Also, don't know. Uh, why can I not fill this? Hmm. It's supposed to take fertilizer. I don't think it's liquid. Oh, is wait. No, this isn't liquid fert. Oh, I see. It can take seeds. Well, that helps. Okay. In the reading I had done, I guess I was wrong. So I'm guessing that's what that first compartment is. So that helps, because then I don't have to spend any more money. But at this point, we've got some stocks. We'll see how this works, and this might not be a bad way to do it anyway. It might be a cheaper way. But this is a much bigger contraption than I would have thought. nice thing is it's kind of formally attached to the trailer, so I'm going to get myself off the field for sure. We lower it. Ah, we have to unfold it. Okay, there we go. I see now. Alright, now we turn it on, and now we go, and I guess... So there we go. So it uses things pretty quickly, which is what I have heard from others who have done it. And, you know, the challenge is at two meters, this takes a little while, but the hope is now we plant this now, these wheels, yeah, they're spinning a bit, so this is struggling. But I don't know that I can go much faster. I might want to change out tractors, but this is a small enough field. I don't know that it really matters. Alright, so I got a little over three rows done with 2,000 stalks. So I've got to get some more. Alright, so I have got 8,000 fully loaded here, even though it says 99%. I could not get any more in. I do have an extra pallet, but um, haven't gone ahead and deployed that, obviously. Oops. Tip that up. Then we can turn it on. And then we can go forward and there we go. So I'm going to continue working on this field again at a two meter width. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'm guessing I'm going to need more sugar cane. 
But I'll do what I need to get this done. And we'll see what time of day we're at and what we're going to get into next. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, so as you can see, seven growth stages, which means every eight months we're going to get some sort of sugar cane. Well, a field of sugar cane, not really some sort of sugar cane. It will be the sort of sugar cane that is sugar cane. So obviously I need to get this fertilized as well, but I've got days to do that, so I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm going to go ahead and spend the rest of my day mowing the grass, but in the meantime I can uh, return this, but before I do it I ended up getting more sugarcane than I thought I needed. I thought for sure I'd use another 8,000, no problem, and obviously I didn't. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to empty this or if I'm going to lose this, which if I lose it, it's going to be, you know, $500 or something. Um, let's see. So can I empty it here? I can. Awesome. All right. So the good news is, now, do they just show up as seeds? They do, in fact, show up as seeds. Okay. So I probably could have just done seeds, but I think these were actually cheaper. Because, yes, a thousand seeds are 950, and this was 2,000, so... I suppose that's one benefit of sugarcane, too, is you can just get it in your planter and then convert it to seeds. There might be some little bit of a farming simulator hack, I guess, to use. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, that's right, I can't because I think if I mow and then windrow, I'm going to have a problem. So I think I need to collect this hay first. And what I'm going to do... So yeah, this may be a different direction. So yeah, I guess we ain't doing grass yet. Yes, I use that totally ungrammatically correct word. But... Um, there's nothing else I'm going to go ahead and do here. So I don't think I'm even going to have a full, a full uh, trailer. But the hope is then I'll pick this up, I'll mow this. Now I'll have to do something with it later because I'm not going to be able to fit it all in the TMR mixer, but I'll be able to get some in there to begin with. So there we go, begin to pick that up, and again I think we can get, I don't know, 18,000 or something? I don't remember how much goes in, maybe 17,000 into the TMR mixer. Whoops, did not realize that I had it set, I think it... Oh. All right, so now hopefully, there we go, that's better. And now I'm thinking by the time I get this pass done, that would be everything that goes in the TMR mixer. But once again, if I then go ahead and feed my cows, I'll be able to have that start consuming and then I could very quickly in the morning probably go ahead and remove whatever remaining hay is left because I think in the morning 
by the morning we'd have a full TMR mixer again, which means the hay will be empty. I can rotate that through a little quicker. So there we go. I think we just hit the number we needed to hit. Mm, wasn't sure I could make that turn, but I think I did. All right. But yes, this is the last row. We are not going to fill this up to 35,000 by the time we're done. But the nice thing is then I can mow this and I can determine what's going on and then maybe field 11, um, if I need to, I can bail or something. I don't know. I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go with everything here. So. Because I can obviously, you know, deal with bales if I need to. Because, yeah, the pieces, if I get as much, um, oops, well, I'll have to push that back, I guess. If I get as much gra grass out of the field as I did hay, I'll then be able to fulfill the grass order just off that field, I think. But the challenge is, um, you know, as you can see, well, I guess I can pull this through. I'm going to need this to pick up the grass, but I'm not going to be able to do that today anyway. So I will go ahead at this point and get the TMR mixer. Now let me get this out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get that TMR mixer running again. So I'm going to shove this in so it's where it can load. Not the best way, but hey, we're farmers. We improvise, right? And again, we obviously have plenty of hay there if we need it. So let me get the TMR mixer set to go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got 92,000 liters of food now. More important thing is, in a couple months, we're going to get some more cows. So everything's going to keep speeding up. And obviously, uh, pretty soon, well, soon's a relative term there we're going to suddenly have, you know, maybe new cows every couple months. I mean, definitely once I'm, I'm up at 100 or whatever, um, we're certainly probably going to have cows every three, uh, every three months or so. What is happening here? Oh, is that weight that I didn't know? It's not. I just, maybe I'm not lining up. I don't understand, because I'm like, I would think that any tractor is going to take these. Just kind of using this one today. It's fast enough. Whoops, that's not going to work. So yeah, I was thinking it had the weight on the front or something. I'm like, did I find the one with the weight? The, but I just wasn't lined up. This is way more difficult than it should be to grab these mowers, but... So yeah, you can see we still got hay all over 11. We'll be able to mow it eventually, but we don't need to right now. But yeah, it's uh, 4... what? 3.44. So it's certainly not terribly late. No problem working in the dark. That's why implements have lights. So I'm definitely going to Oops. Just trying to get myself set. Let's see. Yep, that's all good. Um I should be okay with the harvest, I would think, or the 
because even cutting these should work. Let's see. We'll lower this. Lower this. Whoops. Lower this. What is happening? Okay, now it's lowered. Now I'm going to head back here so that I can mow. And we'll go from there. Because I think as long as I get this cut... before the uh, rains come. We're not going to have any yield issue. And with grass, we may not anyway. I don't know. We'll see. Because all we need is grass, so... It would be nice. I mean, I might be able to start picking this thing up and start the delivery today, too. So, super productive day if I can do that. Obviously, we did some of our deliveries yesterday, and, you know, we got sugar cane in today, but, you know, partial days, two days, however you want to call it, it's still pretty good. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Hmm. Wondering how that's all going to work out. If it's going to consider it hay, grass, when I windrow it, I don't know what will happen. Probably not something I'm... I just hope I don't mess things up too badly. How about that? So, once I get a couple of these passes done, it'll be easier to go around. You know, it's possible the rain's going to hit pretty fast, but... You know, the nice thing is this is a quick job as opposed to a standard kind of harvest. So I am going to keep working on this. Hopefully beat the rain. If I don't, I'll you'll be the first to know. I really miss a little bit there. I did, but I don't know that it's worth that effort, so probably just leave it because it's probably a few liters. It's not going to make or break things when I need 82,000, so I'm going to keep working on this, and I'll see you in a bit. So getting the mowing done did beat the rain, so that is excellent. Go ahead and get these folded up. And of course, in my excitement about, oh, I might be able to do this, I still need to windrow to make this able to be picked up in a realistic way. So, yeah, I think that's about as far as we're going to get, which is good because then the TMR mixer will definitely be empty. I think this is what caused my weird problem before, is I had driven in here and then not really been in the center. But let's see. So if we do that... Oops. And then I need to flip around and put the front in there. But we've got some fresh grass. All right, now we need the wind rower. We don't want a TED, so we're not going to worry about that. Oops. My perception of angle there was off. Might still be, and if it is, I guess I'll change my camera view. All right. I'm going to change my camera view because I'm wasting a ton of time here. So any hope of doing anything, but again, I don't know that it'll work. But we'll get the wind rower out there. You know, the nice thing is this 
will go quickly. So, I mean, it is just five o'clock, basically. So, who knows? Always, always like to be optimistic. So, uh, we might surprise ourselves. How about that? Um, all right. Unfold. And we'll clean stuff up later. So, lower it down. Turn it on. And here we go. Now this one I'll go sweep out here so I can get that grass that's hanging off the edge. And again, hopefully we won't have any weird problem when we get there. I'm, if it's like anything else, when you kind of have a mixture like this in places, and sometimes even in your vehicles, uh, it's just going to say, well, there's a lot more grass, so I'm going to convert what I got to grass. I just don't know that that will happen. I mean, we're certainly not going to stop because it's not like we're picking up here, but I just don't know how it's going to commingle this, and then if I go pick it up, is it going to suddenly be like, uh, no, you've got hay in here. I don't know. Because, yeah, there, like, it's not like I see hay hanging out, but the system may keep track of things separately. But yeah. So I'm glad the guy with the dairy was willing to sell it to me for 70000 But the pricing seems to be pretty common around the farms I've seen. And from one place to another from production facilities. So maybe it's just what the market will bear at any point in time. I want to be careful that I don't go too far out. But as you can see, again, we're moving along pretty swiftly. This will certainly be a bit of a challenge here, as it always is. We'll get this Connect it up, go around this turn, and we'll have our headland done in less than 15 minutes. So I'd say that is an excellent result. Well, and having the headland done is relative, because once again we've got to kind of play here a bit, and I think this is where I always struggle with getting in. Oh uh, boy, I'm going to have to fix that, because, yeah, that's too far out. So, let me pick this up. And this is, I think the problem I had with this is backing this thing up straight is so, so difficult. Yep. So that gets that all up on the field. So might have a bit of an issue there. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back because we have a bunch of those tiny little pieces. So that's all right. Could have adjusted my GPS setting, but it's just usually more trouble than it's worth. So. So we'll cycle back around, and then the nice thing is here that it'll move things over a bit more interesting. Because it shouldn't leave any of those, do I have? Uh, the width was off a bit somewhere. 
So, let's see how this goes. So, I'm wondering if I forgot to reset it after the mower and I was basically moving at the mowing with. Because that's not very helpful. So, yeah, just trying to move along. Sorry for the bit of a, again, lack of commentary. I'm just focused on the task, and sometimes that makes me less talkative. And again, for some of you, I'm sure you're like, that's great. But, uh... So, I'm not sure that this, because in theory then, this is the same, so I guess, yeah, I need to come, over, come at it from this end to pick up that and clean that up. But, again, I'm wasting 5, 10 extra minutes, and that might be enough to cause all kinds of time that suddenly this doesn't become very helpful for trying to get this done, because I really would like to at least start moving some of this grass if I can. Although, you know, in high, in as I think about it, uh, we're still going to be waiting for lettuce, so. So let me get this windrowing done. Alright, there we go. So, we have got all the windrowing done. Get this thing folded up, get it put away. You know, in the end, it doesn't really matter if we get this run tonight or tomorrow, because as I said, the lettuce is waiting regardless. So I'm going to go ahead, instead of working into the night when I don't need to, because obviously the grass kind of blends a little bit. It'll be a little bit more challenging. It's certainly more challenging to drive at night in the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it be at this point and get this parked and call it a day. So I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll see you next time.